Welcome back Strategy Gamers, this is a quick 1.1.2 update video for Victoria 3, I've got the good, the interesting and the downright terrible of this update. We'll start with the good from this update, there is a great quality of life improvement here in the government reform screen that gives you these three buttons at the top that show you the most legitimate option. So rather than having to trial and error, find out which IG groups will give you a legitimate government, you can just click, boom, there it is real quality of life improvement. There's some other changes around legitimacy that rolls back some of the changes from 1.1. So the size of government is back, the conflicting government ideologies is calculated differently, it's more important. And the really, really other good quality of life improvement is angry interest groups can now be added to the government. This is absolutely critical because one of the things making them angry is the laws that exist. And the only way for them to get the laws that they want to make them not angry is for them to be in government to support that change oh this is overdue absolutely brilliant quality of life change in the government legitimacy reformation point of view brilliant change in 112 and the interesting i think the ai has got smarter and does do naval invasions now naval invasion by the ai this was not started by me as a player they have gone and dropped an army straight onto the Italian capital. Likewise, you see the other side go straight for the bony capital. And now the unfortunate consequences of an AI change with this update, the prioritization of ports by the AI in this update results in this ridiculousness where they just max out ports. They don't need all of these ports. There's sufficient infrastructure, there's sufficient convoy capacity. When I was running the country, it was World Power 1, 2. As a result, of this shift of ports at the end of the game when it becomes an AI run country they get rid of all of the naval bases because they need the shipyards producing clippers not ironclads to fund these ports and, it pl and the the nation plummets from two to five to six from a great power point of view because it loses that power projection this is one of the things causing instability in 112 that nations are just over investing in ports which is costing them so much money from a government wages point of view from a government cost point of view i think it's the reason why austria is now the method leader because they have less coast than france and britain do so that was my good the interesting and the ugly of 112 there was also positive warfare changes around ai general behavior which is good to see however the trade calculation bug still exists in the game that hasn't been resolved yet so there's still some improvements victoria 3 i'm still enjoying the game this here is some, you know footage from a langfang challenge video which i will be editing up and getting up on the channel soon subscribe to see more victoria 3 content from me including update videos like this recommendation videos and obviously challenge videos i've been garner you've been awesome thank you for watching